Okay, 2012 um, AP Calculus for your response. This is number three from the A, B, and the B, C test. And it gives us this graph of the function f. Um, it says let f be the con continuous function defined on the closed interval negative 4 to 3, whose graph consisting of three line segments and a semicircle centered at the origin is given above. Let g be the function given by g of x equals the integral from 1 to x of f of t dt. Find the value of g of 2 and g of negative 2. So, um, so in here, we want to find the value of g of 2. Okay, this g of x is equal to integral from 1 to x of f of t dt. So, g of 2 we know will equal the integral from 1 to 2 of f of t dt. And we can see we have a graph of f and the integral from 1 to 2 is right in there and it's a triangle um, whose base is 1, height is a half and it's also below the x-axis so it'll be a negative um, integral even though the area of the triangle is positive so that will equal a negative area it's a triangle so we have a base of one a height hold on me for a triangle we have one half base times height which is equal to negative one-fourth. Okay, going back to our problem, we also need to find g of negative two. Now it's a little bit harder because we still have g of negative two being equal to this integral from one to negative two of f of t dt. And the first thing I notice here is that 1 is greater than negative 2, so our limits are out of order for our um, normal areas. So I'll rewrite that as the negative integral from negative 2 to 1 of f of t dt. And that'll take care of it, so I need to have this negative, um, I need to change the sign of whatever that sign area is. Okay, so let's see. From negative 2 all the way up to 1. And what we have here now is we have a triangle whose um, base is 1 and height is 3, and that's above the x-axis, so that's positive. So the area of that so we have negative, we have that area one-half base times height. And we also have this semicircle of radius one down here below the x-axis. And so um, it's below the x-axis, so that area will be a negative sign in our integral. And the formula for that, it is pi r squared, so pi times 1 squared, but it's half of that since it's a semicircle. Okay, and from there we get negative still. 1 half times 1 times 3 is 3 halves. Negative 1 half times pi times 1 squared is negative pi over 2, and that in the end equals positive pi over 2 minus 3 halves.